Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about all of my old school April reading plans. If you didn't know, for the month of April, I will be co-hosting a readathon called Old School April. It is a readathon, watchathon, nostalgiathon. It was created by my friend Kelsey over at the channel Slime and Slashers. I will leave her channel and her announcement video linked down in the description. There is also a Discord, so I'll have that linked down below as well as a whole bunch of information. So if this is the first time you're hearing about the readathon, uh, please check out all of the information down below if it sounds like something that you would want to participate. In. I'm so so excited that the readathon is back again. I participated in it and co-hosted it last April and I'm just I'm so stoked that it's back around again and I'm ready for all of the April nostalgic fun. So my plans for the month. I actually don't have a lot of reading plans. There are a ton of possibilities that I might read but I don't actually don't want to make a TBR for myself this year. I'm really trying to embrace my mood reading vibes that I've been in and um, I want to stick with it throughout April. So what I've done for myself for April, I've put all of the old school April reading prompts into a spinner wheel and as I'm vlogging throughout the month, which I plan on doing, I did it last April, I did weekly vlogs, plan to do the same thing this April. So as I'm reading throughout the month, participating in the activities, watching stuff, doing the Instagram prompts and all of all the other things, I'll spin the wheel to pick out the book. I will base the book based on, you know, that first prompt that I get. And then I'm confident that I'll be able to make whatever book I end up reading um, for said prompt work for a lot of the other prompts as well. Um, if you're unfamiliar, the way that like the prompts are working this year is we have a whole bunch of them. I think there's like around 40 or so. And the goal is, at least for myself, is to make each book that I read worth multiple points by hitting multiple prompts for each book. So you can stack prompts, you can make your book work for one prompt, five prompts, 20 prompts, however many it actually works for, you can do that. And you can repeat prompts. You can do the same prompts over and over and over again and all that kind of stuff. So very easy to make one book work for multiple prompts. So I feel like using a spinner wheel and just like picking my book off of one prompt, I should still be able to make it work for a lot of prompts. That's kind of my goal for the month. I do have some stuff in mind that I would love to get to and I also have two books that are required reads. So I'm going to talk about those and then I'll get into my pile of possibilities. So first off, uh, The Never Ending Story by Michael N Inde? Inde? I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but I'm very excited to read this. I will be reading this for Kelsey's book club, The Midnight Book Society. This is her book club book for the month of April, and she has asked me to co-host the live discussion, so I will be doing that with her. I'm very, very excited to read this. I'm nervous to read this, but also very, very excited. I just love this story. I've never read the book, but I've watched this movie since I was a child. I saw it when I was very, very young. I remember this being a part of my life practically my whole life. Um, so it's kind of intimidating to, after all of these years, finally be reading the book, but eh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful I'm gonna love it. Um, and I got the super cool edition that has all of like these movie stills on the cover and it has it on the back as well. Um, none on the inside, which is kind of a bummer, but it does still have pictures at like the chapter titles course right now I can't find one so that's cool but I'm very excited to read this with the book club and chat with Kelsey and all of you guys who end up reading along with us um, about it I don't know when the live discussion is going to be um, if it's going to be in April or if she's going to push it to May but I will be reading this for sure in April because I want the points and um, because this book will work for a ton of the prompts. If I've calculated everything correctly and if I've guessed right with which prompts that this will work for, of course I haven't read the book before and I imagine the book is gonna be a bit different than the movie, but hopefully they're close enough to where it still works for all of those prompts. And it's, the points are gonna be like, you know, self-specific, what edition you read and that kind of stuff, whether they're gonna actually work for you. But I've calculated 20 prompts for myself for this edition 
and that's awesome. So um, worth a whole ton of points and that just makes it all the better to be reading this in April. And then my book club, the Dark Hearts Book Club, our book club book this month um, also fits in with the old school April theme. It is a 90s horror novel by the author Kathy Koja. It is called Skin. I have read The Cipher from Kathy Koja. I read it last year um, for something completely different, but I absolutely loved it. It was one of my favorite books of the year. So wild and dark and wonderful. And I'm just, I'm so excited to read more from this author. From what I remember of the synopsis, it's about two women who are both artists. One's a sculptor, one's a painter. They come together to make this like unhinged, wild sort of art. And um, I'm very excited. I am anticipating it's going to be very dark and twisted and awesome. So um, very, very much looking forward to that. And if you would like to read with me and my book club for that, I will have our discord link down in the description. Um, that's where we predominantly read and chat about the book. And I have tallied the points for that one as well. Not as much as this one, but still in between around 10 to 12 points, depending on your edition and if it works for the prompts that I think it's going to work for. Again, I haven't read it before, so maybe I'm totally off, but I feel like just from the synopsis, I feel like it's going to work for that amount of points. So 10 to 12, give or take some. Um, still a good amount of points and I'm very much looking forward to it. And then other than that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get up to. I just really want to mood read to my heart's content throughout the month. Just let uh, April take me where it wants to go and, um, you know, just be along for the ride. Embrace the chaos, if you will, and uh, just have a good time. I do have a bunch of books to my side here though that would be great if I could get to and it'd be great if I was in the mood to read them. So um, I'm going to show you just quickly. I'm going to go through my list of possibilities. Will I get to them? Who knows? Uh, you'll have to watch my vlogs to see what I actually end up reading. Hopefully at least some of these <laughs> will be on there. I know I definitely want to read some Goosebumps. I have a bunch to choose from. Um, there's a bunch of them that are on audio that I haven't yet read. So um, I'd love to get to some Goosebumps this month. I feel like it's highly probable that I will. I know this one specifically, The Beast from the East, is April from Apple and Alchemy. This is one of her host recs. So I'll probably for sure be reading this one, but I also have a whole bunch of other ones to choose from. So um, Goosebumps probably is gonna be on the TBR for April. I've been kind of on a Stephen King kick and um, I've been doing good with like reading one every month. It wasn't a priority of mine when I started the year, but it's just kind of ended up working out that way. And I kind of don't want to lose the momentum. I kind of want to continue on with that. And I still have a bunch of his books on my shelf to choose from. He has a bunch of audiobooks to choose from. And um, so I'd love to read a Stephen King. This is one of his older ones. I believe this is one of his earliest ones. He originally published um, The Long Walk as Richard Bachman. I'd love to read this one. I've heard this is amongst his best and um, it's not too long of one. And yeah, I just hear such good things about this one. So maybe this one, maybe another one, maybe none at all. But um, I'd really like to pick up a Stephen King this month. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'd love to also read a Michael McDowell this month. I have a bunch to choose from. I know this one, Katie, is Katrina's host wreck. Um, so maybe this one, but I've also been really wanting to read Cold Moon Over Babylon and The Elementals. So we'll see, um, if I get to one or more of these, um, but definitely hopeful to get at least one of his books onto my TBR this month. We'll see. I own a bunch of Bentley Little Books as well. And you know, what better month to give him a go finally than Old School April. He's an old school horror author. I don't know if any of these are newer. One was published in 98. This one looks like 2012. And this one's from 93. So um, even though this one's 2012, you can still read newer books for the readathon. You don't have to only read old school books. But I do like to use the month to read more, you know, nostalgic stuff, old school stuff, just because I usually prioritize newer stuff. So will that happen this month? We will see, but I feel like now would be a good time to finally check out a Bentley Little. Brian Keene, I have uh, quite a few of his books that I still need to get to. I believe all of them were written in the, you know, 2000s, 2010s. 
um, so he's not like an old school horror writer, but I do feel like at least the books that I've read so far, they give off that old school horror feel and have the vibe that I'm looking for this month in my reads. So maybe I'll get to some Brian Keene this month. I have some other middle grade books I'd love to get to, Maniac McGee and Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe. We will see if I get to them this month, but I feel like now would be a great time. Some newer books with nostalgic vibes, uh, Autumn Crow High and Mina and the Undead. I meant to read this one last old school April and didn't end up getting to it. I would love to get to it this year. It has like the that um, like old school Buffy vibes, which I love. Um, and then Autumn Curl High, Cameron Chaney is actually one of our old school April hosts this year, which is super cool. He wrote this book and Autumn Crow, I think it's just Autumn Crow. It's like a collection of short stories, but a lot of the hosts have read this one and rave about it. This one is also um, Kelsey's host rec, one of her host recs, I believe. Um, so I'd love to get to this one this month. Will it happen? We will see. Um, but again, you know, it's on my radar for this month. And then a paperback from hell I would love to read this month is A Nest of Nightmares by Lisa Tuttle. This is a collection of her short stories. I've read a short story of hers that was in a, a different collection and absolutely loved it. So I'm super excited to read some more short stories from her. Um, and I, own this book. I think, I think Katrina sent me this book, didn't she? No, Andrew sent me this book. Thank you, Andrew. Um, yeah, I haven't read this yet and I would love to. So maybe I'll get to this one as well. We will see. We will see. So that's like a, that's a huge stack of possibilities. I also would really love to read a Philip Fricasse this month. I have read one, like a, a shorter novella of his, but I hear so much praise about his full length novels. I hear that his writing style um, really gives a lot of like 80s King vibes, which I think would be perfect for the kind of vibes that I'm looking for this month. So I would love to pick up a Philip Fricasse. Um, I know A Child Alone with Strangers is one of Christine's host wrecks. So maybe that one, I know it's very, very long, but there is an audiobook for it now. There wasn't when it originally published, but there is now, it came out a couple months ago. So that makes it a lot easier. Um, I think at the top of my list would probably be Gothic though, um, but we'll see. I hope maybe I can get to one of his books. Also, uh, Mr. Magic by Kirsten White. I know the cover gives definite like nostalgic vibes. I don't really remember what the story is about. I think it's about a TV show, a kids TV show. I don't know, but I really want to read this. It's been on my radar since it first came out or before it came out. I really loved Hyde from this author. So I'm really excited to read more from her and, um, hoping to be able to get to this one soon. I wanted to get to it practically all of last year and I didn't. So maybe I can finally squeeze it in. And that's kind of my plans for April. Um, hopefully I can get to some of these books. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I haven't calculated how many points each book will get because I don't even know if I'm actually going to read them and I didn't want to sit here and waste a, a ton of time. But just from like looking at these books, I know all of these will work for at least a handful um, if not more. I mean, the book club books alone are in the double digits. So I feel like a lot of these are going to be in the double digits too. The way that the prompts are set up, they're very broad. So um, I feel like they, a lot of them will work for a lot of different books, whether they're nostalgic or brand new or whatever. So I'm not too stressed about it. If I'm like moving my way throughout the month and I'm finding that like mood reading with just the spinner wheel is a problem, then I'll probably switch it up and maybe have to be more strategic. But I feel like going into the month, just like allowing the spinner wheel to, you know, let fate decide what I choose. I feel like it'll be okay. I feel like it'll be okay. I'm not going to do my tarot game this month in the spirit of mood reading and just, you know, letting chaos reign and whatever happens, happens. I do kind of feel like picking like one card though. I wasn't going to, but now that I'm like here filming a video, I kind of feel like picking one card and picking one book. Should I do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Uh, let me grab a deck and I'll pick one card. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use the Mystical Medleys deck. I was planning on using this deck for my own purposes this month anyway, um, because it's uh, based on vintage cartoons. So I feel like it has those vintage vibes. Um, so let's give it a go. I have already used this deck once before, but I don't think I've used it since. So let me give it a shuffle real quick. Oh, 
Ooh, the devil. Okay. I think this could actually work really well for me and will actually work really well for one of the books I talked about. Um, I really love reading occult books for the devil card, obviously, for obvious reasons. I feel like that just suits. Um, so maybe I feel like Gothic would work really well from what I understand that book is about um, like a cursed writing desk and it ends up making him, you know, quite unhinged and stuff. So it has occult vibes. So maybe something like that would work for this. Um, I, I read a lot of horror. So honestly, I feel like a lot of these would probably work for this. Vampires, the devil incarnate stalking the streets of Rio Verde. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what I want to pick. This is why I just want to mood read throughout the month because decisions. I just don't want to make them right now. You know what would work for this, a book I've already read and happens to be my host recommendation, We Sold Our Souls. That would definitely work for this, but I've already read that. Maybe I could reread it. Um, I don't think I will though, but that would definitely work for this. It's a great book. Definitely has occult vibes. As of now, I will go with Gothic by Philip Fricasse for this. I feel like that's just like the one that's right there in the front of my mind. Um, I am going to give myself the freedom <laughs> to change that if um, I go to read it and, you know, I, I feel like reading something else or I don't know, something else comes into my mind that has occult vibes that I really want to read more than that. I'm giving myself the freedom to change it. But for now, I'm going to go with um, Gothic by Philip Fricasse because I feel like that would work really well. And um, I've definitely been wanting to read it as of late. So I think it's a good chance that I'll read it. So there you go. There's my reading plans for April. It's chaos and all over the place. Basically, this video just should have been like, what is Amy going to read for April? Who knows? You're going to have to watch the vlogs to find out. All right, that's it from me. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're planning on participating in the readathon in April. Let me know what team you're a part of. It better be purple parrots. Um, if not, that's totally fine. You're still more than welcome to shout out your team in the comments. But purple parrots are taking it this year, so just be warned. And if you're still on the fence on whether you want to participate in the readathon or not, just do it. It's going to be a good time. We're going to have a blast over on the Discord and doing the sprints and doing the watch parties and just having a blast with some fun folks. I'll have everything linked down in the description where you can sign up, the Discord, announcement videos, recommendation videos, all of the hosts that are participating. There's a bunch of people. They're all awesome. Please subscribe to all of them. You won't regret it. Also links to the merch. I'm repping one of our new shirts that we have available over in the Etsy store um, with our brand new 2024 logo. This is the streetwear design. It's super big and comfy and I love it. There's um, a couple different shirt designs um, different styles you can get and there's like a fanny pack and some stickers and some really fun stuff so if you're looking for old school april merch don't forget we do have an etsy store again link down below and anything else old school april related it will all be linked down in the description okay okay i will see you in april thank you so much for watching and um have a wonderful day bye